Hey everyone, my name is Bram and I'm the CEO of Base Row. Um, I'm recording this video because I want to give a short introduction about the AI uh, prompt field feature that we've uh, launched in version 1.24. Um, switching to Base Row, there's a small difference between the hosted version and the self-hosted version. Uh, for for starters, you would need to be on either the premium, advanced or enterprise plan to use um, the AI prompt feature as it's a paid feature. Um, if you are on that plan and you do see the AI prompt feature here in this disabled state, it means that it doesn't have a generative AI model and LLM to connect with. Um, what you can do is you can go to settings, uh, you can click on the three dots next to your workspace, click on settings, and from here you can provide API keys with OpenAI or Olama. Um, in this case, I'm going to provide a fake API key that's not going to work, and I'm going to provide a comma separated list of the two models that I want to um, be compatible, that I want to support in this workspace. If I update these settings and you go back to uh, the create field um, context, uh, if you click on the AI prompt, now you have the ability to create the AI field. Um, in this case, I click on open AI. I can choose one of the two models that I've configured in my workspace settings, um, and I can provide a prompt here. Uh, I could do something like what is um, so yeah, the prompt will actually uh, be constructed based on the values of your row. Uh, in this case, I've provided an invalid API key, um, so it's not possible to uh, to show these. Uh, it's going to give an error here. Um, note that these settings have been configured on workspace level. So if you would create a new workspace, um, they would need to be configured there as well. Um, and it applies for everyone in the workspace. It's also possible to configure this on instance level. In this case, you would need to do it via environment variables. If you're self-hosting, you could go to configuring base row. I'm searching for open AI here. And these are the same environment variables that you can configure on instance level compared to the ones that I've just shown you on workspace level. Um, the same applies for the hosted version of base row. Um, in here, it's possible to bring your own API key um, and choose which models you want to use. Um, if you're on the premium or advanced plan in this case, um, it's possible to use the AI field. Um, we have a base row AI type and we're currently offering GPT 3.5 um, freely available. Um, this is a temporary thing because um, it's a usage-based product. Um, so we're still figuring out how we're going to implement that and make it user uh, usage-based um, in the hosted version. But at least this gives you the possibility of already experimenting with it. And if you would like to use a GPT-4 model, for example, you can also override this on workspace level here. So you could do something like... Um, GPT-4, update these settings, and if you would then create the AI prompt field, you can choose if you want to use base row or the open AI integration. And because these are the models that you want to configure, those are the ones that you can use. Um, how do these settings work? There's instructions here for everything where you can find your open AI key, but also where you can choose which models are going to be available. Um, so you can follow this link, for example, and here's an overview of all the models that OpenAI offers. Um, you would need to provide them here in a comma separated list. All right, that's all. Thank you for uh, trying out the AI field.